Warning, the following video may depict scenes of violence, graphic murders, and crack. Viewer discretion and laughter is advised. Special Agent Jack Crawford, FBI Megaman. You may wait in the waiting room. May I ask how this is all about me? You can ask, but I may have to ask you a few questions first. Use the ladies' room! Don't psychoanalyze me. You won't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give a lecture on psychoanalyzing. Evolutionary, uh, evolutionary origins of social exclusion? Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. Even for a layman. A layman. Yeah. Could Elise still be alive? We simply have no way of knowing. How's the cat? What? <laughs> Please. Dr. Lecter draw up his psychological profile. You seem very impressed with his opinion. What are you doing in here? I enjoy the smell of urine, okay? Me too. We need to talk. What are we looking for? At this stage, anything, really. But mostly, anything peculiar. Hello. Evil Minds Research Museum. It's a little hammy. Jack? That may require me to be sociable. I got it. How do you see me? The mongoose I want under the house when the snakes slither by. Finish your breakfast. Detects instability. You unstable? Winston, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Winston. That's right. Tasteless. Do you have trouble with taste? My thoughts are often not tasty. Franklin, you have to convince yourself the line is not in the room. When it is, I assure you, you will know. You displace the victim of another killer's crime with what could arguably be considered your victim. 
I don't consider Hobbes my victim. What do you consider him? Dead. This is about Will? He was talking about people having the same properties of a fungus. You've never killed anyone before, Will. It's a deadly force encounter. It's a lot to digest. You used to work homicide. The reason you currently used to work homicide is because you didn't have the stomach for pulling the trigger. <laughs> you just pulled the trigger ten times. I don't need to talk about it if you don't. Uh, no, we can talk about or not talk about whatever you want. Actually, I was... I was just enjoying listening to you read. <laughs> we dug up his mushroom garden. Yeah, he's gonna want to grow a new one. Can you, uh, tell me what that man is doing over there by himself? He's some kind of special consultant, works for the FBI. Huh. Um, I didn't want you to be ambushed. Well, this is an ambush? Ambush is later. Immediately later. Soon to now. When Jack arrives, consider yourself ambushed. Where's Jack? You are naughty, Miss Lance. Recovering alcoholics, they crave sugar. Don't take that personally, buddy. Oh, I'm not recovering. I can indict you for obstructing justice. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Flannery O'Connor. When I was Abigail's age, I was obsessed. I even tried to raise peacocks because she raised peacocks, but they are really stupid birds. Right now, future you is thanking me. I read your article. Tell me about Will Graham. Loin, served with a Cumberland sauce of red fruits. Uh, loin, what kind? Pork. Wonderful. You were in Minnesota. How are you, Will? I have no idea. She's alive! I'm still not entirely sure that wasn't my intention, pulling the trigger. If your intention was to kill him, it's because you understand why he did the things he did. It's beautiful in its own way. Terribly rude, Miss Lowndes. What's to be done about that? I don't think we've ever been alone in a room together, have we? I haven't noticed, have we? Not that we're necessarily alone now. We probably used some kind of dialysis or peristaltic to pump fluids after the circulatory systems broke down. Force feeding them sugar water? You know who loves sugar water? Mushrooms. They crave it. Well, next time, bring your wife. I'd love to have you both for dinner. Thank you. Mmm. We just checked browser history at Stamets workstation. Am I gonna want to hear this? No. And yes, but mostly no. Clear. I appreciate the pageantry, Agent Crawford. Eldon was just here. Just now. Is his car still in the parking lot? 
His car! This is how I caught Garrett Jacob Hobbs. It's his resignation letter. Does anybody see the clue? There isn't one. Miss Lowndes, it's not very smart to piss off a guy who thinks about killing people for a living. Didn't hear you drive up? Hybrid. Free car for stalking. The man on the phone? It was a blocked call. Did you recognize his voice? I'd never heard it before. Is there anybody new in your father? I think you called the house as a serial killer. Just like my dad. I'm nothing like your dad. There was plenty wrong with your father, Abigail, but there's nothing wrong with you. Sadist. He will never kill like this again. How did they catch him? A man named Will Graham. Works for the FBI, but isn't FBI. He catches insane men because he can think like them. Because he is insane. We'll catch him one way or another. Then what, he, he got away? You know what else isn't very smart? You were there with him, and you let those words come out of his mouth. I'm compelled to go cover myself. I have brothers. Well, I'll put a robe on just the same. You're glad I killed him. Is he going to keep calling? Giving a lecture on Hobbs' copycat. Well, we need every good mind we can get on this. This copycat is an avid reader of... I really must insist you leave the room. If you want to talk. Special Agent Graham. I never formally introduced myself. I'm Freddie Lance. I'm trying to salvage this joke from the mouth of madness. I didn't honor any part of him, so it's just murder, isn't it? Do you remember us? I remember you. You killed my dad. Do you want a cup of coffee? And more immediately, why are you here? Yes, and Abigail Hobbs woke up. know how to bury the lead. I'm gonna be messed up. Aren't I? You be my dad, you be my mom, and you be the man on the phone. I believe the as yet unidentified caller was our copycat killer. Have you seen a young man, mid-twenties? Ginger hair, unwashed? Tell you if I saw him, if you tell me why it's important. Victims can sometimes broadcast victimhood involuntarily. Not me. I thought middles were the problem. Middles the sweet spot. Always trying to figure out where they fit in. They can be great um, politicians. Or lousy ones. In an 
an essential survival tool for a million years. You bond with your captor, you survive. You don't. Your breakfast. Feeling paternal, Will. False faces and family portraits. Layers and layers of lies betrayed by sad glint in a child's eyes. It takes a sophisticated level of manipulation to convince young boys to kill their families in cold blood. Kindness to animals doesn't suggest that particular kind of sophistication. Only have to lie about one thing. And when you're with me, you don't have to lie about anything. I think it's too late for us to have kids. It is for me. You want me to do drugs? I want you to do this drug. You promised to deliver your wife to my dinner table. What am I about to put in my mouth? Rabbit. He should have hopped faster. <laughs> yes, he should have. But fortunately for us, he did not. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your mother. Some lazy psychiatry, Dr. Lecter. In some cases, it does not. For some killers, biting may be a fighting pattern as much as a sexual behavior. Okay, class dismissed. Everyone out. What did I just say? Let's go! You're making it difficult to provide an education, Jack. What is it? Magnifying glass. Fly tying gear. Teaching her how to fish. Her father taught her how to hunt. That's why I thought better of it. Let me guess. Only child. Why'd you say that? Just family friction is usually a catalyst for personality development. You have to find someone to relate to in this experience. It's important to know when it's time to turn the page. Have you thought about applying for schools? My dad killed girls at all the schools I applied to. Perhaps that can wait then. Did you just smell me? Difficult to avoid. You trying to alienate me from Jack Crawford? killing going on that you could have prevented it will sour your classroom forever then maybe i found a job as a diesel mechanic in a boatyard is that yours oh, hi winston <laughs> they weren't praying to him they were praying for him I did not hear that, did I? It's in his vomit.
plastic sheet for the bed. Would I be a horrible guest if I skipped this course? Too rich. Too cruel. Phyllis. Jack. Is killing them when he's sleepy. I mean, how is he choosing them? I don't know. Ask him. I'm asking you. Well, you're the head of the behavioral science unit, Jack. Why don't you come up with your own answers if you don't like mine? I'm going to need you to prepare yourself on this one. I'm prepared. Yeah, prepare yourself some more. Eat soup in there. Soup isn't good for the soul. Not this guy. You ever feel abandoned, Well, <laughs> Abandonment requires expectation. Not your father, Will. Not gonna tell you what you ought to do. Seems like that's exactly what you're gonna do. Do you have a history of sleepwalking, Mr. Graham? I'm not even sure if I'm awake now. God has given this person insight into the souls of man. God didn't give him insight, God gave him a tumor. You say he hasn't abandoned you, but at the same time you find yourself wandering around wolf trap in the middle of the night. Wow. <laughs> this should be interesting. Please, doctor, proceed. ...over the years. Well, I'm glad I was helpful. More or less. And I'm sorry about your trainee. She's a very brave young woman. You're quite the topic of conversation in the psychiatric circles, Mr. Graham. Am I? Uh, yes. I believe you know Will Graham. Mr. Graham, so good to see you. Dr. Chilton consulted on the case when we failed to catch the Ripper after his last series of murders. the exact same wound pattern as the last known victim of the Chesapeake Ripper. I mean, exact. We never found a body for his last known victim. And then the victim before that. The Romans used to kill flamingos just to eat their tongues. Don't give me ideas. Your tongue is very feisty. I always feel a little nervous going into these places. Why's that? I'm afraid they won't let me out. Don't worry, I won't leave you here. Yeah, not today. I cannot help feeling responsible myself for what happened. He sat directly across from me, and I had no idea what he was hiding. And now one of our staff is dead. Whatever the Ripper was doing, it worked. And I thought she was alive, for a moment anyway. I actually let myself believe something that I knew was impossible. Scattered dozen lonely hearts, 
seeking his hand in marriage. He butchered his last wife and her family on Thanksgiving. There's no accounting for taste or intelligence. <laughs> See the ripper, but I don't feel the ripper. And as this evening has already proven, it's nice to have an old friend for dinner. When certain personalities are attracted to certain professions. I know the list. And then you know what number six is. Journalists. Know what number seven is, Mr. Graham? Law enforcement. Here we are. A bunch of psychopaths helping each other out. Wounds are cuts, not stabs. Anatomical knowledge, dissection skills, mutilation, organs removed, victim clothed, on display. You realize those candidates thought we were having an affair? Why didn't we? Will does that too, you know? What? Have a fast. Flirtatiously change the subject. You have that pathology in common. I use the term sounders because it refers to a small group of pigs. That's how he sees his victims. Not as people. Not as uh, prey. Pigs. I see the Ripper, Will. I see him as one of those pitiful things, sometimes born in hospitals. Nobody can tell what he is. Am I your psychiatrist, or are we simply having conversations? Yes. Will, there you are. And Dr. Lecter, what a surprise. We have a lead. I cannot force a feast. The feast must present itself. Exquisite dinner. Does anyone touch the body? I touched the body. A lot going on with that body. Surgery was performed and then unperformed. The surgery was unperformed with bare hands. Sutures clawed open. It's, uh, I also did a little bit of touching. The Chesapeake Ripper wants to perform. But every brutal choice has elegance and grace. Before we begin, you must all be warned. Nothing here is vegetarian. <laughs> bon appétit. Why did you stop being a surgeon? I killed someone. Well, one of us has to be honest. 
I'm honest. Not perfectly. As honest as anyone. Not really. I taste oak. What else do I taste in there? Well, I can see why you have bad dreams. What do you see, Doctor? This young man is trying to get your attention. Hello. Hi. So good to see you. This is my friend Tobias. Good evening. How do you two know each other? There should remain some mystery to my life outside the opera. Mm. I'm one of his patients. Intestines are the only organ missing from this body? Yes, right. So we're either looking for someone with short bowels or... Ripper's making sausage. I fix minds instead of bodies, and no one's died as a result of my therapy. <laughs> but you are wearing a very well-tailored person suit. Do you refer to me as person suit with your psychiatrist friends? I don't discuss patients with my psychiatrist friends. Especially since I only have one patient who chose to ignore my retirement. Not since I consulted on the case with Miriam before she disappeared. Crawford's trainee. Yeah. Very sad. I have to go. I have a date with the Chesapeake Ripper. Oh. He's missing a spleen. A spleen. Who the hell gets a spleen transplant? We got 22 signature components, all attributable to the same killer. 22 possible signature components. <laughs> it's the Ripper. The sulfur dioxide had the effect of hardening the vocal cords. Made them easier to play. To open you up to get a decent sound out of you. Since we can't be friends, or you're not comfortable with that, I googled psychopaths, went down the checklist. This killer brought him here to put on a show. It'll be over before you know it. Nine times. I can count on two hands the number of times I've been dumped by a psychiatrist. I'm sorry, Franklin, but I think you should see another doctor. You're giving me a referral? Yes, I am. You were a referral! Are they really made from cat guts? Not always. It wasn't a coyote. The coyotes probably got it. Probably got it even if it was a coyote. So you invited me over to help you collect animal parts? He treated the vocal cords the same way you treat cat gut string. Yes, I played the violin. What do you see behind closed eyes? I see myself. He's been saying very dark things and then saying, just kidding. A lot. It started to seem kind of crazy. Wondering then why you kissed him. And felt compelled to drive an hour in his snow to tell me about it. Nothing has happened in our relationship that you and I can't remember. I was looking forward to that.
has saved you the trouble. I can't help feeling responsible for what happened to Franklin. What kind of animal was it? Oh my God. Oh my God, is that your blood? I just killed two men. The police came to question me about the murder. Did you think it was a date? Honestly, it never crossed my mind. Oh. <laughs> Why not? I kissed Alana Bloom. Well, come in. This is a skilled musician trying a new instrument. Worried you were dead. The murder weapon has the same sort of diseased or damaged tissues that we found at Bethel Bow's house. What's this guy got to do with the other victim? <clears throat> Just me. You've done a horrible thing. And I know that you wish to God that you did it. What's your excuse? For not dating. Why are you assuming I don't date? Do you? No. Tell me, what was Alana's reaction? She said she wouldn't be good for me, and I wouldn't be good for her. I don't disagree. Uh, are you supposed to diagnose other people in front of me? Do you, do you rather just talk about me? Well, not at all. killer can't accept her reality I can occasionally identify with that that said I feel relatively sane I'm more concerned about Will thought you'd be more concerned about your colleague Dr. Sutcliffe I am grieving Dr. Sutcliffe but Will is very much alive I've got a clean set of prints on the knife handle. I assume they're yours. Sorry. Thought you very cool. Only a few thousand are selected each year. It's irrelevant. If the meat eater thinks it's superior, then belief determines value. My name is Will Graham. Thank you for humoring me. You have to honestly confront your limitations with what you do and how it affects you. If by limitations you mean the difference between sanity and insanity, I don't accept that. What do you accept? I know what kind of crazy I am, and this isn't that kind of crazy. Dr. Lecter here is one of the sanest men I know. I would agree. You've taken a life. Yeah. Yeah, so have you. Stability is good for you, Will. Stability requires strong foundations, Jack. My moorings are built on sand. I'm not sand. I am bedrock. Do you think she'll remember? I sincerely hope for her sake she doesn't remember much. So we know how Ebay gets his pigs. How did you get yours? Are you referring to Will Graham? Just do me a favor and publish it posthumously. After your death or mine? Whichever comes first. So, Will. These headaches, when did they begin in earnest? Two to three months ago. About the time Will went back into the field, which is when I met him. We don't want to break you here. 
Is that what's happening? Have I broken you? Do you have anyone that does this better unbroken than I do broken? I've been doing some accounting of what's important in my life and what isn't. You are important, Abigail. Just because you killed my dad doesn't mean you get to be him. But it's not the murder of Nicholas Boyle, Jack. What makes you so sure? Because any reservations I have about Abigail don't extend to Hannibal. I feel terrible, Miss Lowndes. Never entered my head you might be a vegetarian. A lapse on my behalf. I'm sorry about yesterday. Sorry about what? I wasn't feeling like myself. Well, not feeling like yourself, that's kind of what you do, isn't it? I suppose so. <laughs> yeah. OK. Joel Summers, the headpiece of our totem pole, was adopted after his parents died. Guess who dad was? Fletcher Marshall. Joel Summers is Joel Marshall. Uh, we did a DNA comparison between Fletcher Marshall and Joel Summers. No match. So Marshall's son wasn't his son? Well, the sickest jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, but where are the corners? What? My mom always said, start a jigsaw with the corners. Uh, the heads are the corners, I guess? We got too many corners. Seven graves, way too many heads. Why is he coming out into the light? Well, I don't want to interrupt if you're rehearsing. Uh, no, 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 it's OK, it's OK. Hello, Will. Abigail Hobbs killed Nick Boyle. Yes, I know. You have nothing to apologize for. Yet. But if you open this door, Abigail, you won't control what comes through. Are you ready for that? He has no reason to lie about any of this. least eight other bodies that are recent grave robbings from all across West Virginia. No crimes attributed to any of them. Accidental deaths. They're all murders. Research always delivers benefits. It contradicts a good story. Hell, publish it anyway. Are you still angry I called you insane? The libel laws are clear, Mr. Brown. Insinuation is such a gray area. Mm -hmm. Insane isn't really black or white, is it? We're all pathological in our own ways. No, you choose the version of the truth that suits you best and pursue it pathologically. Everyone decides their own versions of the truth. So I seem fine to you? Is there something you want to tell me? Uh, no, no, no. Well, clearly there's something that you don't want to tell me. Do you, do you want me to quit? Well, Jack Crawford gave you a chance to quit and you didn't take it, why? I save lives. Now that feels good. Generally speaking, yeah. Very moody in here. Oh, well, that's me all over. Tell me why you know. I helped her dispose of the body. Evidently, not well enough. No. I know what monsters are. You're a victim. And Will and I, we're going to protect you. If there's a problem, you need to tell me. 
Is there a problem, Will? What about your life? Huh? I'm your friend, Will. I don't care about the lives you save. I care about your life. I have feelings for you, Will. I can't just have an affair with you. It would be reckless. Why? <laughs> Why? And it is not because you have a professional curiosity about me. No. It's because I think you're unstable. Nicholas Boyle attacked us. Abigail's only crime was to defend herself, and I lied about it. Why? You know why. I'm trying to be understated when I say that this is a bad idea. You're not the chess but you got inside my mind, Frederick. It's only fair to get inside your belly. What value does Will Graham's madness have for you? You're suggesting I'm more fascinated with the madness than the man. Are you? No. They call this the Colombian necktie. What do you think? Me. I have no interest in understanding sheep. Only eating them. Kudal. A South Indian curry. Made from sheep, of course. I suppose this is my fault, too. You're really warm. Yeah, I tend to run hot. I want you to wait outside. That's probably best. You look like hell, Will. I feel like hell. Actually, no, I feel uh, fluid. Spilling. All right, stay awake now. Come on, Frederick. I'm gonna ask you to hold a few things. <laughs> Wrote an article for the Journal of Criminal Psychology in which he described Dr. Gideon as being a pathological narcissist who suffers from psychotic episodes. Let's hope he got some satisfaction from being proved right. Do you see yourself in his madness? Madness can be a medicine for the modern world. You take it in moderation, it's beneficial. You overdose and it can have unfortunate side effects. Those side effects can be temporary. They can be a boost to our psychological immune systems to help fight the existential crisis of normal life. Aren't you the Chesapeake Ripper? Miss Lowndes, I might be slightly fuzzy in this area, but there's no need to patronize me. Or even if he's confused on that issue, he will kill again. I hope he does not, I mean, for your sake. Cannot imagine how you would sleep with that on your shoulders. Cannot imagine how you would sleep with that on your shoulders. for friendship he is still your patient hannibal where will graham is concerned if you feel the impulse to step forward you must force yourself to take a step back four and a half liters all packed in ice please deliver to the red cross that's considerate what do you think will happen if gideon finds the chesapeake river for his work. The Ripper would consider that rude. Gideon isn't alone anymore, and the Ripper isn't going to risk exposure. So no, he's, he's, um, he's telling us where to catch him. 
which way he's telling you? Me. Where's the last place you saw a severed arm, Jack? What would you do in my position? Deny everything. Well, it's what he didn't take. He hung the organs from the branches with the vein from the victims. He even tied little bows with some of them. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. He's had a mild seizure. That doesn't seem to bother you. Said it was mild. Silky chicken in a broth. A black bone bird. Prized in China for its medicinal value since the seventh century. Wolf berries, ginseng, ginger, red dates, and star anise. You made me chicken soup? Yes. You look a little pasty. Maybe you shouldn't have checked yourself out of the hospital. I feel fine. An agent from the FBI came to see me. He asked me questions about your relationship with Will Graham. Jack Crawford was here. Hmm. Much better now. I feel clearer. It had to be the fever. I feel like you'd done something wrong when you killed my dad. This is telling you you've been wondering, Will. Where is Will? I left him at the cabin. I didn't feel safe with him, so I left him. And evidently, he suspects you are protecting Will. Are you? Are you asking us, my psychiatrist? The murders you're attributing to the copycat have suspects. No. Whose DNA was found on the victims? So what? Would have been my mom's birthday next week. We were gonna climb Eagle Mountain to celebrate. I could take you. If, if, if you wanna go. I think it would just make me sad. Some places are stained now. Some people, too. Visiting that unfortunate young woman suffering from delusions. She's my support group. You have to maintain boundaries, Hannibal. When the pressures of my personal and professional relationships with Will grow too great, I assure you, I'll find a way to relieve them. Dad's still out there. In a way, he is. He's planning on framing me. You believe this is personal? If it wasn't before, it is now. Did he kill Marissa? They will believe he did. They will believe he killed others, too. Will always said whoever called the house that morning was a serial killer. Why did you really call? I was curious what would happen. This young woman you were visiting How's her recovery? I don't think she wants to recover. She's afraid to remember what she did. Can't say I blame her. 
one you stalk. Yeah, there you lure. I was the lure. I'm not hallucinating. I haven't lost time. I am awake, and this is real. How many people have you killed? Many more than your father. Are you going to kill me? Whatever you're doing with Will Graham, stop. Like she fought back. Shut up. I'd stop talking. Are we gonna reenact the crime? You be my dad, you be my mom, and you be the man on the phone. Are we gonna reenact the crime? I think that would help you. Jack let you in here, given my romantic overtures. Jack doesn't know about your romantic overtures. Didn't know. You frightened Alana Bloom. She's confused about who I am. Which I can relate to. If you weren't certain with yourself, you shouldn't have been here. This is the FBI. I thought I would get better. I know what life means. And the space opposite me assumed the shape of a man filled with dark and swarming flies. We found your fishing lures. Yeah, I should hope so. They, they were on my desk right by the front door. I never considered having a child. But after meeting Abigail, I understood the appeal. isn't my problem. I hallucinated that I killed her. But it wasn't real. I know it wasn't real. I believe it's entirely possible, if not nearly indisputable, based on how you discovered her here. Are you a killer, Will? You. Right now, this man standing in front of me. Is this who you really are? They do find him guilty of killing Abigail Hobbs. When? Let's be honest. Uh... 
I didn't kill any of them. And somebody is making sure that no one believes me. You're flushed, you've been yelling. Screaming is more like it. I could use a good scream. I can feel one perched under my chin. I'm afraid that if I started, it, I wouldn't be able to stop. <laughs>